Hey my friend, it's Doug Shan. I would love to welcome you to our UI Tale of You course series over here and I congratulate you for signing up for this course. In this lesson, we are going to take the first step in which you are going to create the data structure, the data model classes and some data so that we can put those on our Tale of You. This step is the most critical step actually when you're dealing with tail view, tail view or collection view or anything in your app because this step is going to determine do you have the sufficient data structure for you to display on your views all of those things that you can communicate with your controller everything like that now before when I deal, uh, when I do a course like this, usually I would just give you the data uh, model classes. But a lot of you ask me that, hey, can you give, uh, can you share with me how to structure the data? How do you design the classes, the struct and properties in those classes and struct? So let's talk about that in this lesson. Let's go ahead, open up your Xcode, download all the resources that I have for you by clicking the button right below this page or if you are somewhere else, go ahead, click the link on the description. Let's get into the course. Let's do the demo. The first step in almost every single app that you use a table view or later on we talk about collection view is you need to have the data model for your app the data structure for your app so that you can use to display these products or restaurants or any kind of data that you want to display in your app. So for example, this is how the app will look like after this video. I'm sorry, after this whole course. Now, by the way, you can access to the entire training of this course right below this video. All you have to do is click that button create a new account and get access to all the entire training series below this video and download all of my implementation guide, all of the tutorials, all of the resources and code and uh, tutorials right there. So this is the complete app. We have a table view of with different sections. You see the section label over here. So different sections of devices that Apple was having. I believe that this is the data that I got from uh, last year or something. Okay, and each of the table row or table cell could display a product. For example, uh, so if I click into the Apple Watch like this, and then we see the detail of the Apple Watch. We have a static table view like this. We have a table, another table view, and then inside here we have the beautiful image and the title with the text field, and then some information about the product. So if I change it into Apple Watch Series Two like this, and Series Two, and when we goes back here, it will change into Apple Watch Series Two, and then I can even change what is that the image of this guy even though it's ugly if it's not <laughs> image and it changed into the image pretty cool huh so let's talk about that uh, and a lot of you ask me how do i create my model classes the data to display on our app so i'm going to share with you all of that in this lesson so number one downloaded all of the resources that i have for you right below this video and then right below this lesson you have a folder called demo resources like this okay so i will leave it right here and let's create a new xcode project and then we expand that let's have a single view application click next and the product name i'm going to name this guy how about like apple products and don't use any of these three we don't need to use those click next i'm going to leave that in the download folder that you have I have for you, okay, where is that? Here we go, download folder here, and create. Here we go. So step number one, I'm going to uh, import all of these images into my assets.xe asset. So import these, drag those into these. Now it may take some time because there's a lot of images, okay? There we go, it's this place. Pretty cool. All right, by the way, Again, you can download that. There will be a button somewhere below this video for you to get access to the entire course and download these resources. Pretty cool, huh? So number one, I'm going to right click on here, create a new group and this new group, let's name this guy model. 
because we are going to create the data model for this and let's right click new file and let's use a swift file let's name this guy product over here we want to create a product class and create now let's look at what is the data structure we should uh, structure our data number one we know that we want to display the product so why don't we just create a class for our product right number two we we have like different suites of products we have the mac line we have the software we have the uh, ipods and itunes we have icloud and apple pay those kind of lines so we will put those products into product line right so we have like um we have the product and then we have the product line right the product line is going to contain will contain an array of product make sense all right so let's have number one i'm going to import ui kit because we are going to have some images those kind of things pretty cool okay so let's have i'm going to leave this comment above here copy and paste so let's have a class called product and this product is going to represent a generic product like it has some um, let's talk about what are the information that we'll need for this product will we so let me open it like this and this is a product so what are the informations that we we'll need for a product we need the image so let's have the image var an image which is a ui image right we have the title of the product so let's have var the title is a string and then we have the description of the product so var description is a string right now i don't show it here in the, our project but later on i want to do a code challenge for you with you is that we want to have the rating of a product the rating of a product so how about we want to have the rating and to do the rating i'm going to have like an enum called product rating and it has different cases number one you want to case unrated we have a case called uh, average we have a case called okay uh, we have a case called good we have a case called brilliant like that okay and then we have the rating inside here for a product is the type what is the type here yeah product rating so product rating like this cool huh now let's have an initializer a convenient initializer for our class so let's have an init and to initialize this product we're going to need these properties so let's have our title is a string we have the description is also a string let me close this and we have what is that the image name of this product is a string now i don't want to have the rating because i want to set a default rating so let's have self.title equals our title self.description equals the description self.image okay equals to our oh by the way because we have an image name so the image may or may not have so let's have if let image equals to ui image named our image name like this and if we do have the image we'll call it the self the image over here self the image to be the image otherwise let's use the self the image to be a ui image with a named of default and i ungrab that because i know that there is an image with the name of default cool now you may ask um why is it that you use the self keyword over here the self keyword all it means is that it points to the instance of this class product right so you see that over here we have inside the argument list of this title of this uh, method in it we have the title description and image name the same name as these guys so in order to distinguish that this title is this guy this description 
is this property belongs to this instance of the class product, we say that this title is myself title, not this title, right? So this title is my title, which is this product's title, not the title inside this method or anywhere else. So we use the self the title to point that this title is this guy, or this description is this guy. Cool? All right. Next thing, let's have the rating to be a default one. So, now by the way, because we don't have a rating here, I, we don't have to use the self at all. So, rating equals the unrated by default. Cool? Now, over here, I can use self the rating. That's okay. We don't have to use that. Here, we must use that because if we don't use that, Xcode will get confused. Because if we do it title like this, it's by default will be this thing. And we don't want that, so we have self.title to be this guy. Okay? All right. Now that is our class product. Let's have a product line. Remember, we have the product line will contain an array of products. So we have different product line. We have iDevices, we have Mac, we have... Um, or is that software and iTunes and icon plays so services right so right click new file or you can command in new file and let's say use product line we have product line again important UI kit we might need that like this okay so let's have a product line now what does a product line have we have a class called product line and this product line it has what it has a name right the name of the product line so var name is a string what else do we have well we need to have an array of products so var products is an array of products like this okay and then let's have an init with a named of let's have an init with the name of what is that uh, a string and then include some product is an array of product like this okay and then next let's do name equals named let's do a uh, product equals include product like that and you see that because I use a different names here so we don't have to use the uh, self so you know what I think I like that so let's use titles like this okay so notice that I'm going to change it over here titled with the description and image name okay so that later on I'm going to use some resources that I have for you cool titled like that so let's go back into product line like this now a product line um, maybe you want to have like a class function called get product lines this thing we don't need any property we don't need any arg uh, parameter or argument but we want to return an array of product line so that later on when we use in our app we just have to call one method like this and we will have an array of product lines cool okay now inside here I'm going to have like, um, we're going to return an array of product lines. So in order to return an array of product lines, let's write some methods that will allow us to generate some data for our product line. So if you look at our assets, the Excel assets, we have things like a page. I know that it's like some, some of these services already expired, like a picture, it was a premium photo editor uh, um, Apple created but now it was it is just a photo app and we have iPod and those kind of things cool so let's have some mark here private helper methods so here I want to have something like uh, for example I want to have a private class function called iDevices like this and return for me a product line with the iDevices okay and then inside here all I would do is I have a array of product which is an empty array of products like this 
and then I'm going to append different products into this product array. But you know what? This is kind of like really, really boring code, and it's just the matter of copy paste. So I'm going to, I'm going to let me find out that thing over here. I'm going to get this. Resources over here, you will see there's a product line dot Swift class. So open that. Okay, open this guy, and below here you see the same exact code, the same guy, but you also see this private method. So let's copy this from line number thirty-nine down below here. Don't copy the whole thing. I just want to copy from line number thirty-nine till the last one, one for uh, fourteen, and then copy paste, paste it. All over here, okay. I'm going to delete this thing. Let's delete that. Paste it over here. Cool. So you see that we have several methods. Number, uh, let me open it over here. So we have private helper methods. We have the i devices. We have the Mac, the software, iPod, and iCloud and Apple Pay. Right. So we have i devices returned for us a product line. We have the Mac returned for us a product line. We have the software returned for us a product line. All it does is that we have an empty array of products. We append that product, each of the product, with the title, description, image name into that, and then finally we return that product line. Okay. Now pay attention that because of the name of the initializer that is used for the product in the product line over here, then please use the same name in the initializer. Otherwise, you have some terrible errors. Okay. Okay. Now we have all of our model classes done. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. We talked about how to create your data model classes, and I would love you to take this course in a different manner than the other different courses because um, learning that you just consume the material is fine. That is just consuming the material. But in order to really, really take it in and and really understand the. The materials is you have to do the work. So, as in the next few lessons, I'm going to have you give you some little code challenges along the way in the demo. So please take the time and do those little code challenges. It will give you a lot more satisfaction in the learning process. And also, I would love you to comment in the comment section any questions, any concerns that you have for me, so that I can、uh, serve you even more. And again. On this page, somewhere you will find a button so that you can check out my new program called Total RS Blueprint. This is a more advanced program. So if you would love, you love these kind of training with me, think about how I can help you even more to build 11 apps in RS. And the library just go on and on and on. You can check all things about the program on this page right here. I hope that you see you in the program. Let's. Go to the next lesson, in which we're going to talk about the basic UI tail view and UI tail view controller. All the things inside that tail view and tail view controller. I see you in the next lesson.